what's going on everybody uh it's your boy chris um just wanted to share what i've been kind of grabbing the most these days what i've been spinning the most um first off the chub try with unquiet hands i think they're called collider buttons could be wrong um really enjoying this combo um the in-hand feel on this, I'm not really a flicker, but this thing makes you want to flick. Um, that groove right there is so comfortable on your finger. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't think I've done a review on this yet. Have I? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but it's very nice. You never really miss. You can always get it really comfortable great in hand field chub life and not a spinner but similar reasons why I grab this a lot um, the dead eye challenge coin I think they call it um, just super comfortable um, I just usually just sit there like this a lot of the times just play with it between my fingers um, it's very easy to manipulate, actually. Um, yeah. Did I say that and then I struggle? Uh, but it's just very nice. It's very comfortable just resting in between your fingers. I kind of just do kind of that kind of deal. And it's in between my fingers and I get to rub it. It's very nice. Um, definite win for me. Uh, around square. Definitely check them out. Um, I need to pick up a smaller one. I think they have a smaller version as well. Um, I'm just enjoying this so much. I figure I should probably get the smaller one. I think the smaller one was only like $15. So, um, you'll have to check that out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I actually have them in a pouch, which is oddly enough for bars. But they kind of, the, uh, they fit in there. The chub is a little tight, but it works. It keeps it protected. Um, and I kind of want to... Um, talk about... The state of affairs in the spinner community right now. Um, the last couple weeks have been pretty crazy. Um... I've kind of stayed out of it for the most part. Um, I don't really want to get involved in it. Um, I will say this. Whether you like him or not, um, at no point during me saying any of this should you think that me, that I think that anything that, I, that he did was okay, just so you know that. Um, but he was a huge part of this community. Um, he posted a lot, he was a reviewer, he just did a lot for the community, whether you like him or not, um, and it's a huge hole that has been left, and so, there's a lot of people applauding his departure, and I guess you could say it's rightfully so, um, but it's up to all those people to kind of fill that hole, um, and I'm always one preaching to put yourself out there and make reviews and, you know, just get out there into the community. And this is kind of a, kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for? A snap back to reality, I guess, that putting yourself out there can lead to unfortunate things. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about that, I guess. Um, I will say this, I have a stepdaughter and her mother at the time was 17 and my stepdaughter's father at the time was 28 in Canada, legal, not really, I don't know. I wouldn't be cool with my daughter who is 16 coming home with a 20 year old or whatever.
whatever it is. Um, but when my now wife is was 19 and he was 30, she got pregnant. So, I don't know. I just, and like I work with a lot of young people and there was a 20 year old online who was talking about one of the hostesses and he said, oh, she's so cute, blah, 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 blah. And, but she's 17. Well, he didn't say, but she's 17, but one of the other cooks was like, she's 17, that's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. And for me personally, at 20 and 17, I don't think that's a problem. That's my personal opinion. 30, 17, I don't know. It's very hard to say where that line gets drawn. Right? It's 17 and 18. I'm, I'm assuming that's obviously okay. And assuming that the 17 is the legal age. Um, 17, 19, 17, 20, 17, 21, 17, 22, 23, 24. It, when does it start getting really... I don't know. I don't know. And like... Uh, another thing. I, I really hope that the reason that he was outed like that, not that it didn't need to be put out there, I just hope it wasn't for, I don't like this guy, I'm gonna find something bad about him and get him out of here. I hope it was, oh, they stumbled upon this and oh, this is concerning, everybody needs to know this. Um, I just hope it wasn't a vindictive reason. Um, Cause for me, that's, I don't know. That's not cool. But it, it, it's hard. It's you get stuck in that gray area. It's not cool, but it definitely needed to be known. So I don't know. I'm just kind of like rambling on at this point. I was very hesitant about making this video. I didn't even make it live um, because I still don't know if I'm going to post it. I don't really know if I. Like I said, I kind of want to stay out of it. And I'm for the mispre. I'm being, I guess, kind of politically correct. Just I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing <laughs> like I said at no point in time should you ever think that I think that it was okay um but yeah I'll just end it on that you already know the deal until next time live long and spin on peace